too long. You can even like cheat and kind of go like this. Okay, is this gonna be too long for my eye? So yes, it, it is. You'll wanna cut two or three knots down. I call these little guys knots. So I'll just cut like two and a half or three. Should it span your entire upper lid? Sorry? The eye, the eyelash, should it be your entire upper lid, or you go a little bit in? Um, yeah. So these ones are great. They're designed like a little shorter to look really natural, like natural lashes. So, um, about a quarter of the way into your eye, you kind of start, and then you don't want to go too far down, or you start to get a, what looks like almost like a droopy eye because mm -hmm. you're bringing, you know, the the black down. And that's the right. first thing people see. So you kind of want to almost do uh, just like right in the center, so you can see that just kind of like right right in there and this is what you'll want to feel like right at the at your lid you feel that right on top of your natural lashes mm -hmm. so you bring it down where you can't go any farther because your lashes are if you have lashes they're they're there otherwise it's just the, the edge of your lid um, that you'll be attaching it to and then you'll kind of adjust it if needed if your eyes are a little bit more round like yours you'll adjust it and pull the ends out a little bit so that it's gonna be snug with your eye line when you go to put it on. So you're not adjusting it a lot. Um, and then once you do that, you'll get the glue on and just get it, make sure you're gonna get the ends nice and good. Put that one down and then you do the same thing to the other eye. So while that's drying, I'm gonna grab the other one. Most some most of the time your eye sh your eye is going to be the same length, but actually my left eye is a little bit uh, wider than my right, so it depends. And sometimes the lashes will come in the box a little longer, so you still want to measure to make sure that it's going to be perfect. So I'm just going to cut two down on this one. And then I'm just going to throw the glue on this eye or on this um, lash as well. Really, really simple. Put that one down, make sure you don't mix them up. And then you can see the glue starting to get a little clear there. So you'll look back down into the mirror so you can see what's going on. And then you'll just, and then you'll just push it into the line and just let go. And wow. then you use the ends to adjust if needed. Stay looking down for 30 to 60 seconds until there's no more white the white is really great. Um, we do have black glue too, but I feel like if you're going without liner and uh, mascara, white is the way to go because these have a clear band. So you, it really looks so natural. Um, so just stay looking down because the glue doesn't really hold that well until it's dry. So if you are blinking or moving around and you start to do something else, it'll start to lift and it'll just poke you and you'll just want to rip them off. So it can be really irritating. So just make sure that you give it a second and while you're looking down, you know, you can do your lipstick or whatever. But that's pretty much it. It's really, really simple. Just make sure they dry completely mm -hmm. and you'll feel them for until the glue is dry. Once you don't really feel them anymore, then you'll know that it then they're that they're done but i can still see the white here the the ends will lift the fastest right because they don't really have much to hold on to so you just want to use the end of the tip and even if you poke yourself in the eye i mean you have a silicone it's it's really soft and then to clean it you'll just use an alcohol uh or a mm -hmm. any sort of makeup remover right on the tip mm -hmm. and then you just place it back in the box how and that's yours. is that? Yep. And then you can, when you're done at night, 